Hi guys, welcome to Intro Japan and out of all 47 prefectures, today I'm introducing you to Tochigi Prefecture which is located at the very north of Kanto region. Tochigi is the largest prefecture within the Kanto region and is well known for their agriculture and dairy farming. The number of dairy cows raised in Tochigi tops right after Hokkaido. They're also famous for their strawberries and gyoza dumplings. Tochigi actually produced the most strawberries in Japan and during the harvest season, many farms offer all-you-can-eat strawberry picking or what the Japanese will call it, Ichigo Gari or strawberry hunting. As for gyoza, which is a Japanese style dumpling, um, usually made out of pork and vegetables, Utsunomiya City and Tochigi and Hamamatsu City in Shizuoka are well known for competing as to which city is the gyoza capital of Japan. Each year, they compete on which city consumed the most gyoza. Needless to say, there's a lot of restaurants that serve gyoza in Utsunomiya City. For the Japanese though, Tochigi is especially famous for the resting place of Tokugawa Ieyasu, the shogun that unified Japan in 1603 and this dynasty lasted for nearly 300 years. His resting place is the Nikko Toshogu in Nikko City and it's considered a very sacred place to this day. After his death, shogun at the time would pay their respects and a huge procession would take place. Can you imagine a procession involving 130,000 people and 320,000 horses traveling from Edo to Tochigi? That's roughly 160 kilometers. It was said by the time the forefront arrived in Nikko, the tail end of the procession would still be in Edo. That is insane. Can you imagine the scale? Kutsunomiya city flourished as they accommodated people and horses from the procession, as well as other travelers. Needless to say, Tochigi had a very strong tie with Edo and its culture, and this can be seen in Tochigi city, which is known as Shou Kyoto, meaning small Kyoto. Now I just said they had a strong tie with Edo, but they're called small Kyoto. What? Another thing Tochigi is known for is the fact that the town of Nasu is a famous resort where one of the imperial villas is located. A lot of people own a holiday home here and there are over 10,000 holiday homes in this town. Lots of dairy farms in Tochigi are located in this area as well. Now, if you've traveled around Japan, you may have noticed that the Japanese people enjoy visiting dairy farms as a tourist attraction where they usually sell ice creams and other fresh dairy products from the farm. There's a rather interesting story behind how it started. Before visiting a dairy farm was a thing, people visited Nasu for onsen or hot springs as a part of a medical treatment. Most of them stayed for a long period of time for their treatment. Now, if you're traveling and decided to stay at a particular location for a long period of time, there's only so much you could do especially when you're there for a treatment. Same as people who visited the onsen town. As a result, some of them started visiting the local dairy farms to kill some time. They started a new trend. Dairy farms as a tourist attraction. This eventually became popular all across Japan. Who would have thought? So there you have it guys. Tochi, the prefecture of shogun worship strawberries and dairy resort sort of we will be introducing you to more places in Tochigi in the future so make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more details on Tochigi and other places in Japan check out our website at introjapan.net and I will see you guys in the next video see you Nara